So behind me, I've got the 1972 Jeep Commando, the exact one I'm gonna be using for the Bullnose Project. But we've gotta figure out how to get it from this field in Southern Oklahoma all the way back to Oklahoma City. And as you can see, no axles, no way to move it. I don't have access to a forklift. There's no tractor. There's no easy way for me to pick this thing up other than a bunch of people. And right now it's just me and my brother that are gonna be here today to move this thing. So we've got to figure out how to get something under it so we can roll it around and move it and get it where we need to go. Uh, can't get the axle underneath because the tires are too large. Body sitting a little too low. So rather than jacking it up and potentially messing up the body anymore, while well, it is pristine, as you can see, don't want to do that. So a we're going to pop the tires off and try to wiggle it under, do the best we can just manhandling it. So, so pop the tires off after you guys just pop the tires on. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You know, redundancy. That's you, how working on vehicles You saw work. how far it is from that trailer to here. <laughs> Saving and, us the journey. You know, the truck probably could have moved the trailer closer, <laughs> but that's kind of stupid. So we <laughs> thought, put tires on, take them off, put them back on, take them off. <laughs> yeah, the usual. All right, so all this to mount that. So in the last video, we made these. I took measurements off of my Jeep so that these should mount exactly on the frame just like this and catch the back part of the leaf spring. And so what I have to do now is I need to take some measurements on that leaf spring on the frame and figure out where we want to mount that on the body and try to get them as close to even as we can. Um, today we're just bolting them. And then in the future, what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and weld these directly to the frame once I have exact placement for where these are gonna live. So. Let's go. Stay in school, boys and girls. Physics, I think. Leverage. Through our powers of deductive reasoning, we need 46 inches hole to hole. So here we go. Tires on, but our cameraman said, Hey, get those things out of here. I don't, I don't care how much extra work it takes. We've drilled the four holes here that were needed to mount the out, outboarding bracket, I guess is what we'll call it, uh, that'll throw on here. So that's going to mount just like that. So that then what we'll be able to do, we'll mount the front of the leaf spring in the stock sh uh, spring hanger, and then we'll mount this in these new outboarded shorter. Uh, spring hanger. So like I said earlier, the, the original ones would have sat all the way back here. And so we've got about six inches or a little bit more, give or take, to put it all, all the way up here. So that's kind of what we're at right now. We had to make somewhere for this part to attach since these are shorter than the stock Jeep Commando spring. So what's happening now, my brother and I both have fat fingers that won't fit between the gas tank and the frame so we can get these nuts and bolts attached to get this attached and if we would have dropped the tank at the beginning we would already been way ahead but you know we're not so we're gonna go ahead and drop it now so that way the rest of it will go a little bit faster and easier and I'm not reusing this gas tank anyway so the Jeep up a little bit higher so we have enough space, room to work, all that kind of stuff. Um, problem is there's not a great spot to jack from, so we're gonna have to get a little bit creative. So after a lot of contemplation, we realized the best way to do this, just brute strength. Hercules. Oh, okay. So the goal now is we need to get this in here. And then we'll be ready to put the tires on. 
roll it on the trailer, get the heck out of Dodge. Well, we're not in Dodge, but you know, similar. <laughs> On these, I did go ahead and drill three different holes an inch apart. So if we are a little bit off, we have a little bit of adjustment. And so this shack angle looks okay, but obviously there's no, not a whole bunch of weight on it yet. So we might end up just using this one. And then like I said, I can always, I'm gonna weld it into place so I can move it back if I need, but we're really close. So today we came down, we recovered this Jeep, got it loaded up on the trailer, ready to go. We installed the shackle hangers, the rear leaf springs, the rear axle, that's pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna have to make some adjustments when I get home, but we're ready to go for now. So that's up, it's ready, it's done. We gotta get it out of here, onto the next phase, get it back home, get it in the garage, do an inventory, make a list of next steps, and start going from there. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure like and subscribe as they say. Make sure to follow along as we're gonna be uploading more and more videos about this process, getting it up, getting it going, and on some adventures. Enjoy.